Close your eyes and see yourself sitting where you are. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And see yourself as a tree and reach your roots down, push them down through the floor and down through the basement. Push your roots down into the ground beneath the house, down around the rocks and rubble far below the earth. And push your roots down and down deep into the earth until you come to the bedrock far below the earth. And when you reach that bedrock, feel around and search until you find that nice cool pool of water far beneath the earth. And with each breath, bring that water up through your roots. Bring the water into your feet and into your legs. With your next breath, bring the water up into your loins and into your belly. Bring the water up into your chest, into your shoulders. With each breath, bring the water up into your head and through your arms and out of your hands, flowing back into the earth. Bring the water from far below, filling your body fully with all this water, waters of chaos from far below the earth. Now reach up with your branches up through the roof and up into the sky. Search high above you through the clouds, through the trees, until you find that star directly above your head and reach for that star and pull that light down into your branches. Bring that light down into your hands and into your head. Feel this light fill you down into your chest and into your belly. With each breath, bring this light further down into your legs and into your feet. Feel yourself filled with this light from above, the light of order, mixing with the waters of chaos from below. With each breath, you pull water up and light down and mix them throughout your body, filling you with the energies of fire and water, of light and water. Fill yourself with order and chaos from, from up and below. But for now, we want to keep only the energy that we need. Then we push the light back up into the sky. We push the water back down into the ground. You bring yourself back into yourself. But know that you can always reach up and down and pull these energies back into you whenever you need them. But for now, take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes prepared for magic. <laughs> so first we call to the Earth Mother. Mighty Earth Mother, you who surround us and support us, you who give us sustenance so that we may live, you whose weather we have to deal with on a daily basis. For each and everything you do, for all that you bring to our lives, Earth Mother, Accept our offerings. <laughs> Gatekeepers. Actually, no, sorry. We haul the hollows first. Mighty well waters who reach deep beneath the earth. You are a connection to the ancestors. You are our connections to our past and all that has come before. We offer you the silver and we ask sacred waters flow within us. And mighty fire, you who burn and transform, you who send the smoke and offerings high into the sky, to the heavens, to the shining ones. We offer you this incense and ask sacred fires burn within us. 
and mighty tree whose roots go deep beneath the earth and mix in the wells of the ancestors and whose branches go high into the sky and live among the shining ones. We call to you to be our crossroads between all the worlds. We say, sacred tree, grow within us. In my house and in all of our houses, by the might of the water, by the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. Now we call on the gatekeepers. We call on gatekeepers all. Each and every one of you that has aided us throughout the years, we call on you to aid us once more. We call on you to guide us and watch over us as we walk your holy ways. We call on you to take our messages far and wide and to bring back to us whatever it is that we need to hear. Gatekeepers all accept our offerings. And gatekeepers, as you join your magic with mine in my house, in all of our houses, let the well open as a gate to the underworld. Let the fire open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be open. First, we call to the shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who look over each and every one of us, our matrons, our patrons, we offer you welcome. Gods and goddesses of this place, where each and every one of us sits and stands, you of this very land, we offer you welcome. And gods and goddesses of elder days, each and every one of you known or unknown to us, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fire. Shining ones, accept our offers. And land spirits, fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. Leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And all of you seen and unseen, the fae, hold of folk, and whatever other name you may go by, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Bastards, accept our offerings. And ancestors, you have come before us, those of our family, we offer you welcome. To you of our friends, our heroes, our chosen families, we offer you welcome. And to all of you that are buried in this very earth that we live in, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Land spirits, accept our offerings. At this point, if you have offerings of your own to make, please feel free to make them. As I've been asking for the last few weeks, May calmer heads prevail. And 
there are no more offerings. Mighty kindred, we give to you, and we give to you once more. We ask that mighty kindred accept our sacrifice. And we ask, now, for what blessings do we receive? Shining ones, what blessings do you give us? They give us dagas, the day. Land spirits, what blessings do you give us? Those Urus, strength, the aurochs. The shining ones. Sorry, no ancestors. What blessings do you give us? <laughs> they give us Wangjo. Joy and happiness. I read this as we're given the strength to get through the day and we're being reminded to laugh and have fun. I think these omens are good. <laughs> Do we accept these omens? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the mighty kindred Fill these waters, fill them with dagas, fill them with urus, fill them with wangjo. Fill them with the day and strength to get through it. Fill them with the ability to laugh at our days. In my waters and in all of our waters, fill these waters. Behold, the waters of life. Mm. <sighs> and they are good. Mm. And now we thank all of those who have aided us. Mighty ancestors, be you family, be you friends and heroes, or be you of this place, for all that you do for us, ancestors, we thank you. <laughs> Land spirits, be you fur and feather, scale and skin, leaf and twig, stem and flower, seen or unseen, for all that you do throughout our days. Land spirits, we thank you and shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, be you our matrons and patrons, be you of this very place, or be you unknown to us for all that you do for us. Shining ones, we thank you. And gatekeepers, you have brought back these wonderful omens. If we're all that you do, we thank you. And we ask once more that you join your match with ours. Let the water become but a but water once more. Let the flame become but fire once more. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you surround us and support us. Without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us, whether we know it or not, Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended.